Ok. What's up, Frankie? What's up, buddy? How's it going? Frankie Gonzalez, what's up? First comment, first comment of the day goes to Frankie. What's up, buddy? How are you? Hope you're doing awesome, man. What are you doing? Just hanging out? Coming to see what's happening over on Painting with Jesse? Thank you for stop stopping by, brother. Thank you very much. Let me lower my volume here a little bit. I'm still tweaking. Whoa, we got to lower that. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, there we go. So, guys, I'm still tweaking my new software that I'm using to stream. So, uh, there may be a few little glitches throughout. Hopefully not. We'll see what happens. But I am streaming for the first time ever. I'm streaming to Facebook and YouTube. What's going on? What's up, Ruth Cintron from Puerto Rico? What's happening, Ruth? Got a bunch of you guys on here already. Fantastic. Ariana Kambaya, what's happening? Brenda Trumbull, what's up? Smith Cricket or Cricket Smith? I missed that. The comment went by pretty quickly, so I might have missed uh, missed that. But um, yeah, Frankie, good to hear from you, buddy. Maggie Purdy, what's happening, Maggie? Guadalupe Garcia from Oregon, what's happening, Guadalupe? How are you? Welcome to Dave. I think welcome back. You've been here before, so so welcome back. Like I said, I'm using a uh, new software today where I'm streaming to both Facebook and YouTube. I'm not sure how many YouTube folk are going to be joining us today, but let's see if I can. Looks like we got one person on YouTube streaming right now. Pretty awesome. And about 215 people on Facebook. So I jumped on quite a bit early. Let me know, guys. Could somebody please let me know in the comments if you can hear me okay. So, yes, Jesse, we hear you loud and clear. <clears throat> also, let me know if the video is good. Uh, I'm using a new camera, new microphone, although the microphone, I don't know that I got figured out. I was having glitches when I was testing things yesterday. So I think I'm probably still using my laptop's uh, microphone, which isn't ideal. <clears throat> but for the first run of this dual simultaneous broadcast to Facebook and YouTube, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to work out. Romeo Astrid Villa says loud and clear. Thank you so much. Romeo, or or Romeo, I'm not sure which one it is. Let's see. Video and sound, great, says Anki Irwin. Fantastic, thank you. All right, cool. So far, everything's going fantastically. So I'm super happy about that. <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna jump on and actually start right at three o'clock West Coast time, whatever that uh, time equivalent is for you guys, wherever you are. That is about 15 minutes, a little less than 15 minutes. From now, of course, at that point, I'm going to talk about the supplies, uh, what, are, what we're doing today, what the steps are, how everything works, especially for those of you that, those of you that are new. Let me lower my volume on my music just a touch. It's distracting me. As cool as it is to have some background music, it distracts me a little bit. It's difficult for me to do both at the same time. So let's see how that works out. Give me one second. Let me lower it a little bit more. There we go. <clears throat> like when I'm going, when I'm backing up in a car, when I'm going in reverse, trying to back into a space, I got to turn my music down. Come on, got to concentrate. But all right. Anyway, folks, I haven't seen any yet. Uh, but we were of any spammers that jump onto our comment section and try to uh, put links in there that where they try to take you to other websites, please be aware. I haven't seen any yet, but it does happen, right? If you guys see any links in the comments, uh, where they seem to indicate that the live feed for this is going to be broadcast there. Don't click on it. You're, you're at the right spot. It's happening right here on Facebook and on YouTube. So make sure you guys stay right here, okay? Again, I'm, I'm using some new software today, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we don't have any glitches. We're going to have a really big group today, so 
if we have any glitches, there's going to be a whole bunch of people that get a little bit, uh, you know, disappointed, maybe a little upset at me, but, but we got to, we got to try it out. This is the only way for me to stream to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time. I'm trying to grow my, my uh, YouTube page as well. If you guys haven't yet, and have a YouTube subscription. If you guys, if you guys have a YouTube account, please go over to Painting with Jesse on YouTube. Make sure you guys subscribe to that. Okay. So also, guys, for those of you that I'm sure this question is going to come up a whole bunch of times, this video will be available after the live session's over. This video will be available for you guys to watch uh, the recorded session immediately after it's over. I hit the save button on Facebook. Saves it to the live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page. Now, I don't know how that works on YouTube yet, but I'm assuming it works the same way where I can simply hit the save button and it saves it. So both on Facebook and on YouTube, you will be able to watch the recorded version of this. I will leave it up till at least the end of the month, the end of February. So you guys will have plenty of time to go back and watch this whenever you'd like. I don't know, some of you guys maybe want to watch it two, three times, uh, draw and paint this a few times, up to you guys, but yes, the video will be available for you guys to come back to later. That is the most common question that I get on here. And that's the same for all my videos. Every single one of my videos is posted and saved. Uh, right Currently, they've been saved on the library on, on my Facebook page. Uh, I have been added, adding some of those to my YouTube page little by little over time. But going forward, I do plan on doing both. Uh, simultaneous broadcast to Facebook and YouTube. That goes for all of my uh, coming upcoming sessions and going forward. So hopefully there are no glitches today. Everything works perfectly and everyone everyone will live happily ever after. All right, so let's say hello to some people. Let's see. Sierra Schwark. Hi, I'm from Michigan and I love watching your videos. Awesome. Fantastic. Welcome. Welcome back, it sounds like. Let's see. My name is Cheese. Hi, Cheese. What's happening, Cheese? It's a cool name. I like it. Let's see. Africa, Sullivan, Skyler and Paige from Greenville, South Carolina say hello, and they are super ready. Fantastic. I know you guys painted with, painted with me recently, so welcome back. Thank you for being here. Thank you to all of you, whether you're new to the page, first timers, whether you've been painting for with me for a little while. Welcome, welcome. We do lots of fun, really cool videos here art sessions <clears throat> and uh yeah we try, i try to do at least two a week sometimes i do three a week it just really depends on on how many i can squeeze in it takes time to plan everything out it takes time to decide what it is that we're going to paint it takes time for me to create it and then i've got to post the event and so there's a lot there is a lot involved in creating these events so if i can squeeze three in in a, in a week that's what i go for maybe eventually i'll be doing four we'll see I am slowly kind of getting uh, newer technology, better technology to be able to stream um, more frequently. My lighting and things like that are changing over time. I've got new cameras, I've already mentioned. So slowly, I'm adding more and more uh, videos per week as my ability to do so gets better. What's happening, Lucas from Quebec, Canada? Hi, Lucas. What's up, Naomi? And this is my first time here. Hi, Naomi. Uh, Luke, I said hello to Lucas. Let's see. So my YouTube, April Marcial, my YouTube is the same name as my Facebook page, Painting with Jesse. That's J-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. Okay, so if you guys have a chance, uh, this is live streaming over there right now also. So if you guys have, want to go check it out over there, maybe it's better for you. I don't know. Uh, but be, please be sure to like, uh, follow the page. Make sure you guys follow the page so that I can grow, grow the subscriptions there. That would be fantastic. What's happening, Carl from Pennsylvania? Addison from Colorado, first time. All right, Addison, welcome. Welcome to the page. Welcome to the Painting with Jesse Facebook page. And like I said, we are also live streaming to YouTube. What's up, Sue? How's it going, Sue? Sue Cripe, welcome back. One of, um, let's see, one of my favorite folk to see jump on here. Sue's been following the page for a while and likes to come on and she shares a lot of her paintings with me. She's a pretty good, artist she's been painting for a while so welcome sue thank you for being here say caitlin marshall how's it going caitlin so like i said guys we're going to be getting started right at three o'clock uh, west coast time i'm in california so we are about seven minutes away right at that point i jump right into all the supplies and everything else that we need paints brushes all that good stuff 
<clears throat> so not until then. Uh, in the meantime, we sit here and say hello. Are there any birthdays out there? If you guys are having a birthday, please put down in the comments, say, hey, my name is so-and-so or my daughter or my son's name is so-and-so. They're turning uh, eight years old, nine years old, 10 years old, whatever that case may be. Please put it down in the comments so we can say happy birthday to you, okay? So, all right, let's see, who else do we got? What's happening, Hudson? Hello to you. Let's see, who else? What's happening, Julie Rangel? Welcome back. Aiden, Ivana, and Ilana from Virginia. Welcome, guys. Welcome to all of you. Lisa Lopez from Palos Heights, Illinois. Awesome. Rhonda from Nebraska. Oh, here we go. My son's name is Caden. He will be 12 years old tomorrow. Everyone say happy birthday to Caden, who's going to be 12 tomorrow. Happy birthday, Caden. Happy early birthday. Thank you for being here. We're going to have some fun today creating Among Us. Sounds like we've got a whole bunch of Among Us fans on here today. So that's fantastic. Anyway, folks, so once again, for those of you that are jumping on here a little bit uh, late, not late because we haven't actually started, but late in the feed, I jump on early to make sure that everybody, everyone can find the video feed, right? Once I, once I start the live, <clears throat> everyone should get notifications saying, hey, Painting with Jesse's on now. Go check out his video. So that's why I like to jump on early. It makes it easy for people to see the notification, jump on, and get ready. But, um, yeah, so anyhow, at 3 o'clock, we're going to start talking about the supplies. But once again, just want to repeat, because I've seen the question come up already a couple of times, this video is being broadcast to both Facebook and YouTube. When the live session's over, the video will be uh, saved, so you can go back and watch it whenever you'd like. Okay, and it'll be available on both platforms, Facebook and YouTube, through the end of the month. Okay, through the end of February. And if you guys haven't yet, please make sure you guys like and subscribe to YouTube, and then follow, like and follow uh, my Facebook page, Painting with Jesse. Okay, we do lots of really cool stuff here. But let's see who else is on here. Hello to the St. Matthew's Baking Kids, of course. Hello to the St. Matthew's Baking Kids. How's it going, guys? Now, I see a little, uh, I already see a scammer on here. Got to delete the comment. Block, oops, didn't get a chance to block the user. <laughs> All right, that's it. All right, I'm still getting used to the software. All right, Matthew Crew from Mississauga, Ontario. How's it going, St. Matthew Crew? <laughs> I think that's what it was meant to say earlier. Hello to the St. Matthew Crew from Minnesota, Ontario. Welcome to the Minnesota Crew. Uh, St. Matthew's Minnesota crew. All right. Who else? Who else, guys? Be careful with the spammers in the comments section. Everett. Everett from Ontario. It's also his birthday today. Blocking another user. Okay. Delete the comment. Yep. Got some spammers on here. Got to get rid of those guys. Another one right there. Be careful with the spammers, guys. Like I said, if you guys see any comments in the, uh, any links in the comment section that, um, Trying to get you guys to click to lead you away from this live feed. Please do not click on those. It looks like they're happening on Facebook, which is typically where they happen. This one user posted a whole bunch of links in the comments. Tor Kahin or Tor Kahine. Please don't click on those. Just uh, ignore those. We try to we try to jump on here and get rid of those. <clears throat> Sometimes they're a little bit difficult to uh, to catch. My throat's a little bit hoarse today. A little bit dry so i gotta save my voice a little bit uh who else who else all right okay guys cool so we're about three minutes away i am going to show you guys what we're going to be doing over the next week this coming saturday for those of you that are interested this is a little bit more of um, an older big giant thing we're doing this this event this Saturday, I'm going to be live streaming to both Facebook and YouTube. If you guys haven't checked out the details on this, go over to the event page on the main painting with Jesse page. Here on Facebook, you can find all the details to that. Of course, the event is free. Anyone can join. On the 24th, and I know it's a special ways on. This is February 24th. We're going to be painting these really cool blue jays. I put like stencils for the birds. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to draw them in freehand. Oh, from uh, my my desk. Let me know, guys, if I dropped away when I stepped away, because 
Again, I think I'm using the microphone on the laptop as opposed to the microphone on my camera. And if I, and if I, if I dropped off and I stepped away, it's because, because of that, because it's using the mic for my laptop. And I still haven't figured out how to do that. But anyway, February 24th, we're going to be painting this guy right here. Okay. Uh, I'll be teaching you guys how to draw the birds from scratch. I do have stencils available, so you guys can go check that out uh, under the event tab on my main painting with Jesse Pages, where you can find all the details for this. Okay. In between, we've got other paintings, painting sessions. I've already scheduled a couple of them. They're under the event tab. I don't have the paintings here with me to show you, but uh, go check those out. They're all up there. I am going to be point. Uh,
All right, everybody, my apologies about that. Wow, that was crazy. I don't know. I lost my internet. Apparently, I lost my internet. Whoops. Let's get that out of there. So here, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Here we go. Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Tell me in the comments, hey, Jesse, we can hear you. Wow, that was no good. That was no fun. Okay. Let me see if I can. That was crazy. I lost I lost the internet on my on my uh here we go. Here we go. Sorry about that, everyone. We're gonna get moving, we're gonna move right into this. Let me find the feed really quickly on my Facebook page so I can monitor the feed. I had to switch over to my phone. Anyway, what a mess, what a mess. We got this though. Don't worry about it, guys. Looks like there's a whole bunch of you guys still on here. So let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> wow. Wow, we're back. Dang, it looks like I lost a lot of you guys, though. So anyhow, hopefully you guys make it back. Sorry about that. All right, cool. I'm just lower, lowering my uh, volume here. I had to switch back to my phone. Uh, we're not, looks like we're not, I'm not sure if we're doing this both on Facebook and YouTube now at the same time. Let me see if I can check this. I cannot. All right. Let's not worry about it. Let's move on. We'll figure things out later. All right. So here we go. Here are my colors that I'm going to be using today. Let me show you guys. I'm going to show you guys the basic colors that we're using. Black, I get for the background. I've got some blue that I'm going to be mixing with some white to lighten it up for the hat, for the visor, for the little window over on the ship on the side. Okay. I've got some red for our red crewmate. Got some green. I got a couple of greens in here. Or the little green uh, crewmate. Okay, so whatever colors you guys want, if you guys want to change things up, feel free to do so. You absolutely can change things up however you'd like. But these are the main colors that I'm going to be using. Now, I'm going to be once we painted the background first. Okay, we're painting the background first, then we're going to draw over that. I'm going to be using a, a, a hair dryer to dry the background once I've painted it in. Okay, so that's going to happen pretty quickly. Then I've got a few brushes in here some basic basic brushes that i'm going to be using i'll show you guys in a second i do have the roll of paper towels make sure you guys have these because these can get pretty messy then as far as the brushes some basic brushes you guys will get a close-up of these in a little bit but i've got a few basic brushes okay um as long as you guys have something that you can uh, paint small areas with you're good to go i do have an extra plates here that I like to use to mix my colors with. Okay, I'm going to be painting on a 11 by 14 inch canvas, so let me get that ready. Okay, give me one second. Anyhow, folks, I do apologize about the glitch here earlier. That was pretty intense. All of a sudden, I got no, a notification on the laptop that the feed was gone. Something about problems with the connection and I tried to figure out what it was for some reason it looked like it was the internet the internet that went down um, but I can't verify that I'll, I'll have to check that out figure things out later but we're back I hope that uh, you know I didn't lose a whole bunch of you guys in the process or whoever I did lose hopefully you guys made it back now I'm using an 11 by 14 inch canvas I've got all, I've got this old sketch I was doing Olaf at one point a while back. And so you guys see that sketch in there. Don't worry about that. We're going to paint over that. Yeah, I want to, I want to, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, get rid of that canvas. It comes in handy. So anyhow, that's what you see on there. I'm going to get a really good close up of what we're doing. Again, I'm going to be painting that background in first. You guys will get a really good view of what I'm doing because we're going to be nice and tight. So, in a sec, let me make sure that everything's in view here.
And my apologies, everyone. Now I'm going to be I'm going to be painting in the background first, like I mentioned. When I draw the characters, when I draw the Among Us characters, I'm going to be using chalk. You can use your pencil, you can use whatever it is that you've got that you can see against your background. Okay? But I'm using a really light colored chalk for a couple of reasons. One, it's easy for you guys at home to be able to see what I'm doing because it's light. And then two, it's easy to erase. Okay, so, but we are painting in that background first. Give me one sec, folks, one, one more connection to make here. So that my, since I'm using my phone now, I don't want it to lose charge far away from that another glitch. But all right, everyone. Here we go. Black, we're going to start with the black background. So I'm going to grab the brushes that I've got. I'll show you guys, let me run through those quickly here. As long as you guys have something similar to this, you're okay. First one that I'm going to be using mainly, it's going to be for the background. It's this big, this is actually one inch thick, what you call a flat brush. All my brushes are synthetic bristle brushes. Okay. So this big square brush is what I'm going to use to cover that entire background in. Okay. Uh, if you have something that's half an inch, quarter of an inch, uh, not quarter of an inch, I wouldn't recommend that, but three quarters of an inch, you're good to go. It also depends on how big your background is. Then I got this half inch flat brush. Okay. It's going to be good for working in the details on the inside of our characters, painting in areas like this. Okay. Next one. Of course, it's kind of similar in size. This is a number six flat brush. Okay. Number six, a little smaller than the one I just showed you guys. And then I got a couple of small brushes, skinny ones. This one here is a number two flat brush, very tiny, good for making small details. And then I got a skinny, pointy, round zero number zero brush we're going to start with the big black one this one right in here this is going to scoop up a bunch of my black paint again we're painting that background in first you don't have to do it this way you can draw your characters in first maybe some of you guys went ahead and drew your characters in and then you're going to paint your background around them that works out too so not, so let's say for example that this was my among us character you've already got it drawn in you're just going to be painting around it right kind of outlining it all first. So that's what you're going to do if you have that, if you paint, if you drew yours in first. So the interesting thing was that while I lost the internet, it kind of looked like somehow StreamYard maintained some sort of basic connection so that when I came back on using my phone, the reason I jumped on my phone is I thought, Something was up with my laptop. Couldn't quite tell what the issue was. But um, somehow it seemed like StreamYard, when I jumped on, it said live. So I don't know if that whole time you guys were looking at a black screen, just kind of hanging out waiting for me. I'll have to, I'll have to see what's up, see, figure out what happened later. But anyhow, check this out, folks. Here's what I'm doing. I'm using long horizontal brush strokes all the way across. What this does, and the reason why I'm painting my background first is because this allows me to create a nice, smooth background. If I was to draw in my character first, and it, it depends. Sometimes I do it this way. Other times I do it <clears throat> where I draw in the characters first. I draw the whatever it is that I'm going to be painting, the primary parts of my painting. I'll draw those in first, and then I'll paint the background in around them. Okay, that method, though, um, typically doesn't allow or doesn't lend to creating a really nice, smooth background. Because we're working on, on space, this is space, right? We're in outer space. I want this background to be nice and smooth. So when I apply the paint, this is how I do it. I can apply it in little short strokes like this <clears throat> all the way through, and then I'll and come back over this later and go long ways all the way across, all the way across like this, smoothing it out. Or I can start with these long brush strokes right from the get-go. But again, what this is doing is simply allowing me to, create, me to create a really nice, smooth background. But either way is correct. There's no right or wrong in this case. It's a matter of preference. You could draw your characters first and then paint around them. 
So this is pretty much done. And the way this works for those of you that are new to the page, what a what a what a uh, great first time experience for you. <laughs> if you guys were here when the feed went out, but the way we do this, I do a step over on my painting. I do a step over here, and then I give you guys a little bit of time to implement it over on your side. Usually a couple minutes, sometimes one minute, sometimes three minutes, depending on how difficult or complex the step that we just outlined is. So what I'm doing now is after I do the front, I'm going to go ahead and paint the edges of my canvas. You got Some of you guys might be doing this on a piece of paper, on a piece of wood. Everybody's drawing and painting on something different. So if you're not painting on a canvas, obviously you don't have to worry about this. But even if you are painting on a canvas, you don't have to paint your edges. So it's a choice that I like to make. I usually paint my edges. I like the way they look painted. That way, if I decide to hang it up, it looks cool from the sides also. Okay, now because I'm on an easel, I don't paint the bottom part. I leave that alone. So the very, very end, once we're all done with everything on the front, once we're all we're, we're, we're done with the painting, I flip it on its head. By that point, this is all dry. I'll flip it on its head, and then I do the bottom part. If I do the bottom part now, it's going to stick to my easel. I'll glue to my easel and make it difficult to take off. But all right, guys, there you go. Take a look at that. Catch up on your end. Let me take a look at the comment section. All right, so here we go. This is how I do this, guys. In between steps, I look at the comments, answer questions, say hello to you guys, give you shout outs, birthdays, mention birthdays, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I want, to, I want to welcome all of you first timers, and I want to welcome all of you that have been painting with me for a while. Looks like we've got a pretty good little group hanging out with us today, so that is fantastic. Let me see if I can see what's happening on StreamYard right now. I'm going to go on my laptop over to StreamYard to see if there's anything that uh, I can see the feed. Enter Broadcast Studio. All right. Oh, we don't want that. Turn off my mic here. Hello. Hello. All right, guys, never mind. We don't want to try that. I was getting an echo over here. <laughs> oh, the fun process of learning new technology. I got a few practice runs in over the week on um, <clears throat> on my on the StreamYard software, and things seem to be okay. I mean, I thought I figured it out. Now I don't know if what happened today was simply internet issues. It looks like that's what it was, but um, but you know. Bad timing, that's what I'll say. Sorry about the wiggly camera, folks. Just trying to make an adjustment here, bringing this down a little bit lower so you guys get a better view of what's happening over here. There we go. There we go. Maybe we're going to move in a little tighter also. So that way, when I start to draw the characters, you guys get a good shot. Well, it's been an eventful morning, that's for sure. What do I got? All right, here we go. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's using my phone's mic or if it's using my laptop's mic. Can you guys hear me okay? Give me, say, hey, Jesse, yes, we can hear you just fine. If there's any, if there, you know, or if there's problems, let me know. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my blow dryer, my hair dryer here in my studio. I'm going to take a quick moment, a minute or so, to dry my background so we can start painting on it. Here we go. All right, and that's that. Now 
it worked out pretty nicely for those of you who are familiar with the process. Sometimes when it wants something to dry really quickly because we're working with acrylic paints, that's how you do it. You know, acrylic paints tend to dry pretty fast, right? Maybe 10 minutes from, so if I wouldn't use my blow dryer about 10 minutes later, it would have been pretty dry. But because we want to speed things up, that's how we're going to do it. Now, I told you guys, you can draw with a pencil or you can draw with a piece of chalk, anything that stands out against your background, okay? Yes, pencil, especially those of you, if you're right in front of your canvas and you're, and you're drawing in pencil, you can see it. Now, I can see my pencil right here. You guys at home cannot because, or probably cannot, or maybe you can barely see it um, because of the video, right? It's got to go through the camera. And sometimes it doesn't translate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be drawing with a piece of chalk. I've got a nice light piece of chalk that I'm going to be using for this. So give me one second. Let me sit down here. For those of you that have your stencil, this is when you would go ahead and trace them onto your canvas. All right, but here we go. I'm going to turn the original painting towards me a little bit. Whoops. I don't want to drop that. Pull it away a little bit. There we go. So I get a better view. What we're going to start with is this. We're actually going to make, for those of you that are making one, maybe you're just making one character. I don't know if you're making two characters and the ship. Maybe your ship is square. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the outline for that big ship. Okay. So what I want to do, what I want to make sure that I do is that I, is that I leave enough room in between the corner, between, between this edge and this corner and the ship. So when I put in my main among us character over here, uh, right, that we have enough space. So somewhere up in here, I'm just going to mark it off where that little edge of, but it's basically a circle, right? Part of a circle, but that's going to go. And then the other edge is probably going to end up over here somewhere. I'm just making little markings there. Wow. So I can kind of get a visual. And then, of course, I'm just going to kind of do something like that. What's cool about you, about working with chalk is that it's easy to erase. And let's say there's something on there that I don't like. I can take a paper towel, a little bit of water, and I can just kind of come in here and do this, and it comes right off. Okay? No problem. Now, pencil is a little bit more difficult to do that with, but you can and erase with pencil, it's no problem. It's, it's not much of a problem. I'm just gonna make a little adjustment here. Make it a little, a little less rounded over. Now this could be a square if you guys want. You guys can have a square right there <clears throat> instead of a round, round uh, side of the ship. Okay, so once we've got that, we're gonna get right into the drawing. We're gonna start with this guy right over here. Okay, let's look at that shape. It's almost shaped like a rectangle. If you go like this, the general shape, is that he's a rectangle. So we're going to start with that back edge right in there. Okay, this line right there. That line is over here somewhere. Wherever you make it, make sure you leave enough room for the back pop. Okay, so here we go. Again, we're drawing this line right there. So right about right in here, we're just going to kind of draw a pretty straight line for the most part. Okay, we're going to continue with the top. Remember this, my, this one has a hat that's floating off into space, came off its head. So we're right here. So we need, we need to make sure we leave some room up on top. So there's a line that comes up over the top like this. That's that corner there. And then it comes back over the other way towards the front. Okay, you want to come, come forward a little bit, then back down, angle it down a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, now take a moment. guys about a minute to get caught up on that and i'm going to come in a little bit closer on my camera give you guys a better view still Okay, here we go. Remember folks, do not stress about this, especially if you're doing this freehand. I uh, commend you for challenging yourselves if you're doing this freehand. If you have the stencils, it makes it a lot easier. But if you're doing this freehand, 
Don't stress out. Have a good time with it. Have some fun with it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the visor, the faceplate right in here. And basically, it looks kind of like a maybe like a part oval, and then the bottom is squared off, is, is angled off. So we're going to start with this top line, and that line is right up in here. Goes back like this. Okay. From then, and it's at an angle, right? Your your among us characters floating through space slightly at an angle. So that's at an angle like this, kind of upwards. And then it, the corner comes down a little bit like this, drops back down. Okay. Curves to the front or angles to the front a little bit, goes back out. Okay. And then when you get to where about the edge of the body is going to be, you're going to curve it. Okay, like that. We're not worried about the border right now. You see how, how it's got the thick border all the way around? We're not worried about that right now. We're going to add that with paint later. For now, we're, all we're worried about is one, one thin line all the way around. Then down here, Right, you kind of see where, where this line comes out right here, connects to the top. Just imagine that it goes through on the other side of the visor, comes down at the bottom over here somewhere. Okay, so we start a little, little line like this. Then from there, we're going to work our way down. Now, I angled it back a little bit. This line comes out, then it drops back just a little bit. Okay, it starts to form. This is kind of like the front part of the body, almost where the belly would be. And then it slowly goes, starts to work its way back towards the foot. Down here, we have a little foot. It's a rectangle. We're making a little rectangle. Sorry, a little square down in here. Because I'm using chalk, it's easy to make uh, corrections, right? Whatever you're using, make sure your lines are your lines are nice and light. Don't go too hard or too thick, especially if you're doing it in pencil, because you want to be able to make correction. Very important. All right, guys, take a minute to catch up with that. Let's see what do we, who do we got on here today. I'm looking over at the comments. <laughs> Christine Hill says, shout out to everyone still sitting here with the hair dryer. Okay, that's funny. That is funny. You'll get caught up real quick. Okay. Uh oh, somebody says you paused. Oh, it's, now, now, I'm, now I'm a little bit, uh, now I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Hopefully everything continues working well here. Susan. Cucky says, hello from Indiana. What's happening out in Indiana? Welcome. Hi, Daya. Daya says, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, Daya. Carter Williams from New York. What's happening, Carter Williams? Hi, Sophia. Well, who else is on here? Krista Beerling. Thanks for inviting me, she says. Absolutely, Krista. Thank you for being here. Lisa Romano, hello from Washington. All right, here we go. Let's continue. Right here at the bottom. This little part is right there. Right in there. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to turn. Make a little line back towards the, the, towards the back leg, let's say, or the back part of the body. Okay, and then we're going to drop a little line down. Goes like that. Now, this little leg, this little foot comes down a little bit lower than this one, just a touch, but it's barely noticeable, so don't worry about it too much if you, if yours, if yours line up exactly the same. But this one's obviously a little bit thicker, okay? And then it goes up. Whoops, let's make a little square. Now, you guys notice this. Before you do yours, real quick, let me show you guys something. This foot is much wider than the one on the original, and it's a lot wider than this one. So I'm going to make an adjustment. I'm going to clean up my chalk. Don't worry about having to erase, clean things up. It's all part of the process. I know some people don't like to have to erase. We don't worry about it around here. That's how it works. That's how we make cool things around here. Okay? So I'm just going to make this foot a little bit narrower. There we go. I like this better. Okay? 
going to come up, comes over, and then this one I can make a little bit wider so that they match a little bit better. Then we don't worry around here about having to erase. Correct things. It's part of the process. And in the end, everybody's piece comes out looking a little bit different. So there's that. Okay. Cool. From time to time, we take a little step back. We look at our masterpiece in progress. We make adjustments if we need to, but always take a little step back. Take a look and see, mm, do I need to make any adjustments? Do I need to make any corrections? And then we move on. What we're going to do here, we need to make corrections. We make corrections. If we don't need to make corrections, well, then we keep going here. Let's work. Let's look at that backpack now. Now, the backpack, the top of the backpack, this part right in here, starts right about right here. Just going to draw the line back. Little touch of a line right here. Okay. It's going to end at the bottom of the backpack. I'll draw a line from this back. The bottom of that backpack is a little bit higher than that. So again, if I was to draw a line that went back like this, this edge is just a little bit higher. So right there. Okay. Now we're going to curve this up. Goes up a little bit. Then it curves back the other way or angles back the other way and connects to the top. And there is our backpack. Yeah, so take a moment with that. I'm going to take a little step back and look at my drawing from a little bit of a distance. I'm going to make corrections here, see if I need them. I think we're looking pretty good. Nothing too crazy. Maybe I'm going to correct the stomach part up in here. Just a little bit. There we go. I like that. Okay. Cool. Who's with me? What's up, Jaden? I'm looking over the comments. What's happening? Got a whole bunch of people on here right now. Over 400 devices on right now. Fantastic. <laughs> you guys are making awesome comments down in there. So here we go. What's next? Let's do a hat. So mine has a little baseball cap like this one. We're gonna start with we're gonna start with the bottom part. All it is is a line. Whoops. Broke off a piece of my chalk. It's all right. So this part right here is the bottom part of my cap. My roommate's cap. Okay. Now the top part is kind of rounded, but first, before we make the top, we're gonna to make the edges. And the edges go up like that. And they curve. over the top like that. Pretty basic, straight line, kind of straight lines on the edges, and then you make a little curved line over the top. We can't forget our bill for this part in the front. So let's add that in. Adding a little, almost like an upside down or, or yeah, like an upside, upside down U. If you want like this, that looks like a U. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome. Again, welcome to all of you first timers. Welcome to all of you multiple timers. I appreciate all of you guys being on here, hanging out with me today. For those of you that aren't familiar with the page, we do lots of fun events here. Lots of awesome drawings and paintings. So you guys want to stick around because there's lots of really cool stuff coming throughout 2021. Okay. All right, let's continue. We're going to go back. To this area over here, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the big window. Okay, this guy's looking out, going, hey, bye, buddy, bye, imposter, or my crewmate, or whatever. But here we go. We're gonna draw the square. So at the top here, don't gotta get too fancy. Just drawing in a square or it could be a rectangle, it could also be a circle. What the heck? Up to you guys. 
But our little guy in there is going to be looking out the window. So just make sure you leave enough room for him. Again, nothing fancy, just a square or a rectangle or a circle. Heck, it could even be a triangle if that's what you want. Okay, what's next? Well, let's start drawing our little guy on the inside. Now, mine's wearing a cowboy hat. Don't know about yours. So I'm going to start with the top of the head, which is basically a flat line that goes across like this. I'm actually going to make my window bigger. Hang on one second. Otherwise, I'm going to be struggling to draw in a little small section. Because I'm not standing right, or not sitting right in front of my canvas. It makes it a little tricky. I'm over to the side. So let me go ahead and make an adjustment really quickly. Bear with me a second. See how easy that is? A little bit of water. Just don't want to use too much water or too much pressure because I might remove some of the paint underneath. Let's see if we can paint do chalk over the top of this. We could. Not as easy, but we could. There we go. Bigger porthole, bigger window. Okay, there's the top where the cowboy hat's going to be. Okay, some, some, somewhere up in there. Actually, that's too big. That's too high up. Let's bring that down a little bit also. Okay, that's gone. Just like that. But here we go. Cowboy hat's going to be about right there. I like that better. Okay. We're not worried about the cowboy hat just yet. We're going to do the back part. The back part of, whoops, you know what? I just realized we can't see our little green guy. Bring him over. <clears throat> see if he's in view now. There we go. Okay, he's in view now. So here's the top of the hat. This line right here is that back line. We're going to start with the back part of our little guy first. Comes down like that. Okay. Because the hat's covering most of his head, we're going to start with his visor. It's rounded in the front, and then it's curved. But most of it is lost underneath the hat. Okay, this guy's fairly easy. Right here in the front, drop a line down. So for those of you that are using the stencils, you guys already know what's happening, right? You just come in here. I don't know if you guys cut them out or if you guys are using carbon copy paper, all the carbon copy paper against a black, black, black background might be a little tough. You could use chalk. One way to do a transfer is to actually take, if you if you printed out the stencil and you cover the back of it with chalk, cover it, cover it, cover it, and you place your paper up against the canvas, now you go over the drawing part of it. <clears throat> you press up against it following the outline of everything, like say with the back of a pencil, or the, maybe not the back of a pencil, but something like the back of a brush. There we go. You, out, you go over the outline of everything. It'll actually leave that chalk mark on, um, on the canvas. But okay, backpack. Backpack comes out, same as look, like what we did on the first guy. And comes down. And then it tucks back down into the window. Okay, let me fix this a little. Okay. All right. Cowboy hat. Comes out. Goes up. Back comes up a little bit also. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to catch up. I've got about a minute to catch up with that. I'm looking over at the comments, everyone. Hello, six-year-old Alice. How are you? First time painting. Welcome to the page. Hopefully you're having a good time. And you are enjoying yourself. Hi, Tori. How's it going? Lucas, Alex, and Cole. How's it going? Let's see, Suli Pring says, I'm making, oops, I lost her comment. Charlene Rocco, yep, you can color it, now, color it now if you'd like. If you're at that stage where you want to color, you can. Up to you. If you're ready to color it, you can go right ahead and start coloring it in. Gavin, first timer, eight years old. Welcome, Gavin. 
eight and an angel, eight and six and angel, 13 years old. Welcome to the page. Julio, what's happening, Julio? First time painting, says Kathy Morea. Eight-year-old Kehlani, what's happening? From New Hampshire, you know, woohoo. Nolan and Sydney in Edmonton, Alberta. What's happening, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Jalen. Onyxia. Cool. Rarlot, what's your name? Hello to your seven-year-old daughter, Rar Lot. You didn't put her name on there, so. But yeah, hello to your daughter. But here we go, guys. Here we go. Back to our drawing. So I'll go back to saying hello to uh, some of you guys in a bit. So we got the top of the hat. We so we we got this the edges of the hat. Now we got to come draw underneath. Comes over. Comes up. Goes up. This part right here is the front. Turn my canvas toward me, toward me just a little bit so I can get a better angle on this. Otherwise, I'm going to draw this distorted. Okay, there's the top. Angles back down. So went across, angles back down. And then, boom, there's the hat. I'm not going to worry about the strap that goes under the chin or under the visor here. We're going to add that with paint later what i want to do right now is i want to take a look at our drawing make sure that we've got everything we're not missing anything make little corrections if i need to i'm going to go ahead and clean this up a little i'm going to bring I'm going to make my window a little bit bigger in the front again because i'm working with chalk it's easy to make correction let's bring it forward a little bit there we go i like that better but we're ready to paint so I'm going to give you guys about a minute to get your paints ready. Let me show you guys a close-up of my paints. Okay, really quickly. I've got some brown here that I'm going to add some white to to uh, make the color for the hat. I've got two different greens in here. I'm just going to mix them a little bit to make the color for my character that's inside the ship. I've got some red for the outside guy, some blue that I'm going to mix with some white to create the background in there, and then the colors for the hat. And that's pretty much that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put my other canvas back and maybe even pull the camera back a little bit. Since we're going to paint, we need to see the whole thing on both canvases. You guys got about one minute to get your paints ready, colored pencils or whatever it is you're going to be using. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull back the camera just a bit. There we go. All right. I like that. Just a quick reminder to all of you that might have missed it. You guys missed this one? I can get my dates confused around here. We're having so many fun events that I tend to forget what day what. What day was, was what and what day we did what. Okay, so a few days ago we did this one right here. Cool little giraffe piece. Okay, we got uh, giraffe, this giraffe pair. I call it giraffing me crazy. And okay, the video for that is still available. Actually, this is the original. Go back and do this. If you go check under the event page on Painting with Jesse here on Facebook. It's also on my Painting with Jesse YouTube page. I provide, I taught you how to draw everything from scratch, and then we painted it. But I also provided stencils for these. If you guys would like to participate, and want to get a stencil, please send me an email to paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Paintingwithjesse at gmail.com, and I'll get that over to you. And for those of you that would like to help support the page, I do have a Venmo. This information should be listed in the description of the video. I've got a Venmo, I've got a PayPal, and I've got a Zelle on my virtual tip jar. Check that out, virtual tip jar. But I've got a Venmo. There's the information for Venmo, PayPal, and then Zelle. On both of these, PayPal and Zelle, you will see my picture in the account at the top in case you guys go check it out. I want to make sure you guys uh, make sure it's painting with Jesse. Okay? Again, for those of you who would like to help support the page, you would greatly appreciate it. But here we go. We're going to start with painting our big among this guy, the one that's outside. Now I'm going to start with, this is a half inch 
flat brush, okay? Half inch flat brush. Now, when I paint over my chalk, it's gonna, the chalk's gonna disappear, but I'm gonna start with this just basic red. Now, when we paint over black, same as when we paint over white, we typically have to do more than one layer, okay? Um, acrylic paint, those of you that are working with acrylic paint is such that it is a little bit transparent. So we're just quickly gonna put in a layer of this paint and then we're gonna move on. Don't worry if it looks kind of blotchy or transparent or it's not bright enough, you're not gonna get a lot of brightness on this first layer. Simply put down your layer of paint and let's move on. We'll come back and do another layer over this in a little bit. Okay, so something like this, if you guys notice, like I said, it's transparent. There's areas that are brighter than others, areas that are a little bit cleaner than others, but that's about as good as it's going to get right now. So don't sit there stressing about trying to make this super even and smooth and nice on the first pass. So we put your layer of paint down and let's move on. Okay, so here we go. Can't forget the backpack. Okay, in between steps, whenever I'm using acrylic paint, I've got a cup with water in it where my brushes live. They live here when I'm working. When I'm, whenever I'm painting, all my brushes, if I finish it with a brush like the one I just used, it goes right back into that cup. The reason is that acrylic paint dries very fast. And if I leave my brush sitting out on my table, for example, the, the paint can dry and ruin my brush. So when I'm done with the brush, it goes right back into my cup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm going to take my green, uh, sorry, I'm going to take some green paint with one of my smaller brushes. This little guy right here, a little tiny guy. It's not pointy, it's still square. This is a number two flat. Okay, it looks kind of like that. I'm going to take some green, some basic green. Whoops, I accidentally picked up some red. Don't want to do that. And I'm going to paint this guy now. And remember, same thing. It's going to be transparent. Don't worry about that. Put your layer down and move with me. Now, if any of you start to fall behind, don't worry about it. Do your best to keep up. But if you fall behind, you can continue. As soon as I'm done, we're done with the live video. I'm going to hit, hit the save button and this recorded the recorded session of this is going to go live on youtube and on my painting with jesse page here on facebook so again if you happen to fall behind don't stress out you're going to be able to finish your painting okay so again don't worry about it being transparent Put your layer down, all of the borders, the outlines and black and stuff like that we're gonna be doing later. Okay, so put your layer down and move on. All right, let's look, see a little bit of comments. Yes, does anybody have any questions for me? Ooh, something for the Super Bowl. You know, I had not planned on it, but sounds like a good idea to me. What do you guys have in mind? What's happening? Let's see who is on here. I missed, a, I missed somebody. What's happening, baking group? Jennifer Menezes says, Can you say hi, baking group? Hi, baking group. Let's see. Ethan in Virginia. What's happening, Ethan? Let's see, Aaron Celebra says, hello, Jesse, my kids are Olivia, Luca, and Gabriella. They love it. Can you give them a shout out? What's happening, guys? Of course I can. What's happening with you guys? Hopefully you're enjoying the session today. Abigail Parker, I think I answered the question. Hopefully you heard me. If you're still here. But yes, the video will be available immediately after on Facebook and on YouTube. What's happening, Jason in Missouri? Adrian, what's happening, Adrian? 
Ooh, Godzilla or King Kong, says Kristen. Now, are you asking who wins? Or are you asking to do a painting event for those? Because I'll do a painting event. But anyway, I like Godzilla better. Godzilla should win, in my opinion. <laughs> Please, no, no, uh, no King Kong fans. No one get mad at me, okay? But here we go. Let's continue. I'm switching brushes now, okay? As we move along and start painting other areas, this is going to start to dry. The green on this guy and the red over here are going to dry. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a gray. I'm going to grab, I'm going to scoop up some black. I've got another plate, though. I'm going to move this black to a different plate. Then I'm going to scoop up a bunch of white with the same brush. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going to create a gray color. A light gray color, and you guys can make whatever color you want. What we're, what we're going to use this for is around the outside of that ship. But what I do want to make sure I do, whatever color I'm using, I want to make sure that I mix and drop to cover the entire ship in one shot. I don't want to have to mix some more partway through. So in other words, it's better to mix more than enough and have some left over than to not mix enough. Because if you mix too little, and you run out partway through, you're gonna have to mix some more, and matching your color can be tricky. Okay, so all the way around, all the way around. Yeah, okay, do the window first. I just kind of did the outline, and then I'm gonna do the outline over here first. Okay, outline the window, outline the outer edge of the ship. And again, yours could be square. I don't know if you guys did a square or what shape your ship's going to have. It's all good. And once again, this layer is going to be transparent. Unless you're working with colored pencils or marker, you're working with paint, with acrylic paint anyway, your first layers are always transparent. So simply put your layer down, and we're going to move on. Now, I might take my blow dryer dryer here in a moment and dry some of this, but we'll see. Water edge of my ship keeps growing. I better sit down because I'm standing up. I can't get a good angle on this. Here we go. Remember, we're going to have a nice border around this in black later, so. There we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could take this color and come around your edge. If you're working on a canvas, wrap your ship around the edges. Over the top. Just so that it kind of matches. Okay, so there's the top and there's the side. Okay, and again, we're layering. So for this, this first layer is going to be transparent. It's going to be a little blotchy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay, it's got a minute. Then what we're going to do is we're going to mix some blue for the hat, some blue for this, the inside of the window, and then we're going to paint in the visors and the colors for those visors. Again, as we're doing all this other stuff, these first layers of red and green are drying, which is what we want. Let me turn up a little bit of music. And all the commotion from earlier when I lost the feed, which was such a bummer. Let's bring the music back. And all right, looks like we've got 70 people watching on YouTube. Awesome. Again, first time that we're broadcasting both to both Facebook and YouTube. Make sure all you guys on YouTube, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. A lot of fun stuff is going to be coming around. So, first of all, we got to skip. All right. Let's try to keep it down a bit. Let me know if. Uh, 
My music's too loud if there's any problems, okay? What's happening, CJ and Alex? How are you? Let's see. Gian, how's it going? Gian is using his mom or her mom's phone. I'm not sure. Gian, I think it's his mom's phone. But shout out to you guys. Shout out to Gian. Shout out to CJ and Alex. What's happening, Nadia Britton? How's it going? Tessa, how's it going? How are you? All right, here we go, guys. Too loud, too loud. Let me go on the music. Okay. Here we go. So small brush. I'm pulling out one of my brushes. Okay, cleaning it up. One of my small ones, the one that I was using for the green a little bit ago. So swirled it around in my in my cup. Use a paper towel to clean out, clean it out a little bit. What I want to do is I want to take some white. Take some white, bring it over to my mix plate. Take some blue now, just dipping in, dipping in the brush into the blue a bit. Mix the two together. I want to make a light blue. Okay, so this color is what we're going to use on the inside. We're going to use this color for the hat. So over here. Now, remember, there's a big opening in the center. So what I'm going to do is this with my brush. I'm just going to draw this oval. And leaving that open. And if you forget to do that little opening, we'd always come back with black and color it in. So don't stress too much. Or if you don't get it the right shape the first time around, I'm talking about this right here, this guy. This already I can tell is smaller than that one. It's okay. As long as it looks like a hat, all that really matters. And then don't forget, you guys know how this works. We're not stressing about it. Color on the inside is going to be a little transparent and blotchy. Put your color in and then let's move on. Okay. Chloe, eight years old from Canada. What's happening, Chloe? Gary and Cam from the Texas Gulf Coast. What's up, guys? Ella, what's happening? How are you, Ella? Stephanie, Sam Franny. What's happening out there? Lane from Kingston, Ontario. Hi to you. Adria and Aeoli are loving this painting class. Awesome. Okay, here we go. Next step. I'm going to take the same blue that we just used. Now watch what I do here. It can be a little tricky. I'm going to take this blue. You guys see the blue part of the visor right in here? That's what I'm going to do now. So up in here somewhere. I'm just going to draw a little, little line right up in here like this. Okay, from there, I'm going to drop down, go forward, and then back up. Okay, from this side over here, I'm going to come down, back to the front, then back up. Okay, now I'm going to fill all this in right in here. Look at that. Look at that. No problem. Nice and easy. We don't stress around here. We just have a good time. Okay. Now, we can also take this blue. I got to mix a little bit more of it. And I'm also going to switch to a bigger brush. 
First, let me mix some more of this blue. Actually, it's going to be a little bit lighter, whichever is okay. If it's a little darker, a little bit lighter, not that big of a deal. So we're going to use this for in a moment. Whoops, two things. The little visor on the inside and then the window on the outside. So the window, right? The entire window around his body. So we're going to do something similar in here. Actually, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush now. That's too big. we got to use the right brush. Otherwise, we can mess things up. Kind of. So I'm using this little, my little pointy brush, my little zero. I'm going to take some of this paint. Scoop it up with my brush. I'm going to come over here. I'm being careful because this is still dry, so I don't want to put my hands in it. Putting my hand on the canvas, my pinky on the canvas to support my hand. Then in here, I'm just going to do this. Okay. Once I've done that, I'm going to switch brushes once again. Actually, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to go back to the one I was just using a moment ago. The little number two. I'm going to scoop up some of this paint, same color that we were just using. And I'm going to outline our green little guy. So I'm outlining first. Once I've got everything outlined, I'll also come over and outline the inside of the window. Don't forget, guys, go check out the events that are coming up. You're going to want to go to my Facebook event page. Go check those out. A lot of fun stuff. Got about currently about five events scheduled in uh, February, but we're going to be adding at least another four, at least. Some of, them, some of them are for kids, some of them for an older crowd, but everybody's always welcome. Um, check it out. Okay, so I've outlined everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bigger brush, scoop up some of this paint, and we're going to go on the inside. I was like that. So the reason why I did all the blue parts first, it just makes it more efficient to paint that way, right? Because we were using blue and there's lots of areas that had this blue. I went through and I did all the blue parts. I mean, we could have, we could have um, jumped around, did the blue part in here, then did the white part, then did the gray part, then did the hat. Then did the outline on the hat, different color. But by going and tackling all the areas that have a similar color right together, just makes it easier to paint everything. All It's more efficient. Okay? All right. So what's next? Well, I'm going to give you guys a minute to get caught up on that. And then by now, my little red guy here is almost completely dry, so I'm going to be able to do a second layer over the top of that which is what's coming next, okay? So, let's take a look at those comments. Yes, so this is, somebody's asking if I made those, the one on the right. I sure did. This was the original one that I made for this session today.
Again, folks, people are asking in the comment section, will this be recorded and saved? It absolutely is. As soon as the video is over, you can get to find it. You'll be able to find it on Facebook under the live tab of the main painting with Jesse page or on YouTube. As soon as the video is over here, I hit the record button or the save button, I should say, and it goes to live under the live tab on the painting with Jesse page. And, and you'll see it in the videos list on YouTube. In both places, it'll be up at least until the end of the month. But here we go. Let's move on here, folks. Let's move on. And again, if you're falling behind, please do not stress out. Do your best to keep up. Stay with me for the most part if you can. But when you're all when we're all done here, even if you're not done, if you're not done, you're gonna be able to find this video. Like I said, go back and find a recorded session of it. Paint with that. But all right, here we go. I just scooped up some red. I went back over to my half inch flat brush. And when I say half inch, it means the thickness, right? Thickness of that brush. So watch what happens here. I'm coming through here and adding a second layer of this red. Now things get more intense and brighter. Okay. Now this isn't the only layer. We're, this, the la this is not the last layer we're going to do. We're going to do at least one more layer over this. It's how acrylic paint works. Okay. But each layer helps remove blotchiness, evens things out a little. Now we don't have to do all the layers together. If you don't have time to stick around, let's say you're you've done your second layer and most everything's done. You can always do a third or fourth or fifth layer on your own. But we're gonna get to at least three layers today. Still got about an hour left to our session here. But yes, this makes our character stand out quite a bit more. Now watch what I'm going to do. Once I've covered everything in paint, I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to straighten out the brush strokes, make long, smooth ones. Okay, and of course, can't forget the backpack. Look at the difference between the backpack, first layer on the backpack, and the second layer over here. Quite a big difference in brightness. Whoops, I just took some paint off with my nail. But here we go. All right. You guys got about a minute on that, and then we're moving on to the to our green guy. Do another layer over the green guy. Take my brush. I'm going to put it in my cup and I'm going to swirl it around here because I know we're going to be using it again. Okay. Awesome, Sarah. Sarah Dean, happy you guys are having a good time. Thank you for being here. Absolutely appreciate it. All of you that are here hanging out, painting with me today, thank you for being here. Hope you're all enjoying it. These are always fun. And if you guys were here for all the craziness at the beginning of, uh, of our session today, <laughs> Aaron, yes. So as we're doing it, It'll slowly get better, but yeah, the one on the right is better because there's more detail to it. There's more stuff on it. This isn't done yet, okay? Takes a little time to uh, to get there. Shout out for Luca, Ariana, Maria, Sophia, Georgie, Augustina, Victoria, Dylan, Joshua, Matthew, Pietro, and Angelo. What's up, guys? What's up to all of you? Um... I was saying something and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I remember now. But um, all right, let's continue. Oh, somebody was asking me if I could do a panda. So we did a panda a few months ago. There's a video. The, the video session for that panda is under the live tab on the main painting with Jesse Page. I don't think I've got that up on my YouTube, but I do have a panda session. We did a cute little panda a few months ago. All right, here we go, a little bit of green. 
We're going to come in here. We're going to do this. So this is all about processes and steps. At the beginning, your painting doesn't look like much. That's how it goes. But check this out. As I'm adding this new layer of paint, the painting, the um, green starts to really stand out. Once I've covered the entire character, I'm just going to do this. Paint right over the top. Smooth it out. Straight, long brush strokes. Gets everything nice and clean. Of course, once we add the black borders and everything else, everything kind of starts to make more sense. It's going to get cleaner and sharper. <clears throat> you're, going to, you're going to have separation between all the pieces of our crewmates' bodies, the hats, etc. Okay? So what we're doing now is I'm going to take the brush. I'm going to stick it back into my cup. I'm going to mix it around for the hat. So I'm taking my little number two, my little number two brush. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some brown right here, a little bit of white, mix them the two together. So I'm making a light brown. We also have stars that we have to add to our background, right? That's, that comes last, the very end. Put all the little stars up in the sky. But here we go. Take my little number two coming inside here. Painting, drawing, art in general requires patience. It takes a little time, right, to, uh, to make something neat. So there's a little process involved to everything. Also, the more you do it, the better you get. So if you feel like you're not good at drawing, if, you're not, if you feel like you're not good at painting, slowly, slowly, slowly. <clears throat> okay? Lindsay Morer and Savannah Hill, how are you? Welcome. The Mandalorian is coming soon. We did Baby Yoda a few weeks ago. For those of you that might have missed it, we did Roku. So for whoever asked about the panda, here's the little panda that we did. Okay, we did this guy a few months ago. Back, I don't know, June maybe, somewhere around there. But if you go to the live tab here on the main painting with Jesse Page, you'll find that video and can paint along with it. But then here's Grogu. Check out Grogu. For those of you that missed it, we did Grogu a few uh, about two, three weeks ago. Teach you how to draw everything from scratch. So you guys are interested in look for that, okay? You guys are interested in doing that. All right. Here we go. Continuing, continuing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, as these colors are drying, we're going to do a border in a dark blue or black and start bordering everything. Okay? So I'm going to take... I'm going to take my, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to start with my little number two flat brush, the one that I just did the hat with. What I want to do is I want to, and I want to mix a lot of this paint. So I'm going to grab a bunch of blue okay, and bring it over to my mix plate. Lots of blue, much more than that. Scoop up a lot. Now I'm going to grab some black. Mix black and blue together. So I've got a bunch of black. I'm making a really dark blue. Okay. Right. I want to make a lot of this because we're going to border the ship. We're going to border. We're going to put a border on the crewmates, on the hat, everything. Okay. So really dark blue. Why not black? Some of you might be asking. Well, because the background is black already. The sky's black and we want this to contrast against the black. So again, dark blue and some black. Mix the two together, and here we go. 
Let's do this. Small brush. You want to do this with a small brush. I'm going to start with our hat up here. Watch what I do. I'm, I'm outlining everything. Yes, we're going to come back and do another layer over the, over the blue parts of the hat. Now watch, I'm gonna border this part also. Okay. Colton from Tampa, what's up? A horse, Tracy Haddad is asking about a, a horse. Absolutely, we can do a horse. Coming soon, so stick around. Okay. All right, there's our hat. Now I'm going to outline this guy, little red guy. Again, once we start to outline everything, it starts to look more like the original. Things start to stand out. Careful when you're outlining, especially if your paint is still wet. Don't do your outline if your paint is still wet. One step at a time, one step at a time. Okay, right over here. When you do the outline here, underneath between his two legs, his two feet, we're going to do this. Or that little outline comes in. So I'm going right over my chalk. The backpack. Okay. Got to do border around <clears throat> the ship. And don't forget, we're still going to do some more layering in here. We're going to add more paint. Usually I don't do my borders till the very end, but because we're letting those dry, those layers dry on the inside, we're going to the border now, and then we're going to come back and add uh, another layer of paint on the inside of all everything. This guy's going to have another layer of paint. Everything going to have another layer of paint for the most part. Okay, there's the outside of the ship. I'm going to do a little border on the outside of the window here where this guy's looking out. I think somebody asked earlier if they could give their Among Us character arms. Absolutely. Do whatever you want to do. Get creative. You want to change something, change it. Have fun with it. Some of you guys are doing crewmates in different colors. Whoops. I'm a little too low on my border there. We've got to fix that. Actually, I'm going to fix it by making it wider. How about that? I like that idea. That way I don't have to remove any paint. You guys can also help the channel, the page, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, by sharing with your friends. Please let everybody know that we do really cool, fun videos on this page. I usually do at least one kid's video 
session a week, and then one all ages, more adult or older audiences oriented, right? More detail on those. Not, not, there's any, not there's, that there's any adult subject matter. It's more that there's more detail, more complexity, etc. Don't worry, Abigail Parker, if you're behind, it's okay. A dragon, we'll be doing a dragon. That's right, Sue Cripe, happy little mistakes. Exactly how it goes. A cat, absolutely, Amber, we'll be doing a cat. Ooh, Abigail Parker also says, can you do another Among Us but in the lobby? Absolutely. We're going to be doing more Among Us, more Among Us uh, characters. Susie Govea asks, can we email tips through e-transfer? You know what? Unfortunately, I don't have that set up yet. I am looking into that. I, I have had some people send me tips through e-transfer, uh, but I've got to set it up so that I can receive those. Right now, they're, they're waiting for me to go through and set it up. I've started the process, so you can you can uh, give it a shot. I don't know if you've got PayPal or uh, Instagram. Uh, sorry, Instagram, PayPal or Venmo. That's easier for me. But yes, uh, currently I'm setting up my e-transfer. Okay, but thank you for for asking. I do appreciate that. And any of you that can would like to help out, if, again, it's greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. This is my virtual tip jar. I'm under Venmo. PayPal, and Zelle. This detail is all under the description of the video. Okay, so if you guys want to look for that, that's where you get the information. Venmo, I'm painting with Jesse. PayPal, painting with Jesse. Both of these have my picture at the top, so you guys can't accidentally send it to somebody else. And then there's my Zelle, which is just basically my direct phone number. Okay? You'll notice that my studio lights are off, so let me turn those on, make it a little brighter in here. All right. So what's next? Glad you asked. Another layer of green right here. This is all dry. This is all dry too. It could go either way. Let's see. Let's go over here. Here's what I'm doing now. So we're going to continue over here. But you guys see this bright area up on top? I'm going to take a little bit of red and a little bit of white. A little bit of red, a little bit of white. I'm going to mix those together. Okay, so I'm going to scoop up a bunch of red. I'm going to bring it over to a mixed plate over here. Okay. So again, this is all dry in here now. Now I'm going to take some white. I'm going to make a pink. Okay. When I add this color, this pink color over that red in there, it's going to make it look more like this. Okay, so pink, pink, pink. Now watch this. Be careful with my border. That might be a little too bright, so let me clean that up, make it a little darker. We'll see right now. We'll go with it, see what happens. First, I'm going to create the border, the, the outline of it. Comes down like this. Scoops forward. Under the belly. Back up. Now we can come in here and fill all this in. And if it's too bright pink, <clears throat> too bright of a pink, we'll, we'll add a little bit more red and make it a little bit darker. But first, I'm going to go ahead and go through and paint all of that in. So now this color, because it's, it's being painted over the, the background colors, this all stands out nicely. Now this is a little too pink. I'm going to come in and add a little bit more red to my mixture. And then I'm going to paint right over the top of this. So just scooping up more red. Finding a little area over here where it mixes with the pink that I First layer, just a little bit. I don't need all of it. So just a section over here, making a darker red, a little bit darker. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<clears throat> Here we go. Here, I like that red better. Not as pink. All right. Okay. So now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab more of this red. Bring it over. Okay. Now I'm going to take just a touch of blue. A touch to darken this up a little. Ooh, it might be a little too much blue. We'll see. <clears throat> there we go. So it makes it makes a reddish purple. Okay. And I'm using my little half inch flat. No, this is my number six flat brush. So I'm going to take this color all in here. Whoops. Went over to my border a little bit. And I forgot to add the pink, this pink color to my backpack. So we'll add that in a second. This is that darker color underneath. In a second, I'm going to switch brushes. Okay, and then we're also going to add it over here. Okay. Take a little brush, a little lighter brush here. I'm going to grab some of the paint, <clears throat> this right here, and add it to the top of the backpack. Yeah, there we go. Minecraft. Minecraft is coming. Minecraft is definitely coming. <laughs> Just reading some of you guys' comments in there. Comment section. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to work on the green now. Going back to one of my small brushes. Now, this time, the green's going to actually, sorry, we're going to do a border. I've got to do a little border around our green guy in the hat, right? So I'm switching to a smaller brush than the one I used earlier. Let's see, because it's a smaller character. So I'm going over back to my little round number zero, my little liner brush. Okay, this is a little trickier because it's a little smaller so I want to be careful so scooping up some of that black and blue mix and I'm just going to come over here we go start with the back part so all this is dry I can put my finger on here and use that for support actually I'm going to outline the hat first When you guys are all done today, I want to see pictures of your masterpieces, your Among Us masterpieces. So please check with your parents if you're under 18 or parents if you guys are hanging out 
painting along or watching or whatever. You guys can share pictures of your paintings, the kiddos' paintings or your paintings even. I know there's some adults painting with us today, so send me pictures of your stuff. Send them over to uh, painting with uh, Messenger on Painting with Jesse on, you know, on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, you can send them over to me on um, on my email, paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Okay? So, again, I right, right now what I'm doing is I'm just going through and adding a little border on our green guy. But I would love to see your masterpieces. You're all painting in a group, send me a picture of your group holding your paintings. Send me a picture of you holding your painting. But again, check with your parents first. If you're you guys are under age, please check with your parents first. Do not send me anything unless you check with your parents first. Okay, that's a rule. It's a rule around here. But most definitely I would love to see your paintings. Let's add our border like that okay cool so before I do before I go in here and uh, do any more layering in here I am going to do another layer of green in here I want to do a layer of gray actually you know what we're going to hold off on that we're going to go with our green first I still got a, bit of, a little bit of wet paint up there so give us a little time to let that dry so just taking my number two flat brush, this little guy, and to scoop up some green. This time I'm gonna, you're, you're gonna see a difference here in a moment. Just gonna scoop this green up. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit of blue to this. Take some of this green, I bring it over, <clears throat> add a touch of blue, little tiny bit just to darken it a little bit. Makes it more like a like a blue green, aqua green. And this is going to come in here. All this out of the way. All right. So who's ready for King Kong versus Godzilla? And who do you think is going to win? Let me know. So I'm making a little shadow underneath. Okay, can't forget the backpack. Okay. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to clean up my brush. Unicorn, we did a unicorn. Do, you, do a unicorn among us? Yes, unicorn among us. That sounds awesome. We'll do that sometime in the future. Now I'm going to take some bright green. And if you don't have any of this bright green, that's okay. You can always just add a little bit of white or a little bit of yellow to your green. and It'll brighten it up pretty nicely. I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to add this little layer right in here. And the top of the backpack. Okay, do a layer, another layer of gray in here. <clears throat> Switching brushes yet again. Okay, again, folks, don't worry if you're running a little behind. <clears throat> don't stress about it. You're just going to go over to the recorded version. We're all done here. If you're not done, it's all right. You're going to go to the recorded version. Continue with that. Just making more of this gray. Water. <clears throat> Mix it in a little. All right, here we go. 
Now this is going to get nice and solid. All, all or most of the blotchiness is going to disappear. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Cleans it up nicely with the second layer. Don't forget from time to time, take a little step back. Look at our look at your masterpiece. It's easier to step away from it or step away from it a little bit. Get a better view from a distance. Now check this out. You guys got about a minute to do that. We're going to do the rest of the visor here in a minute. Or the uh, other colors on the visors in a moment. But we're getting there. Liz Williams says Godzilla. Oh, Cassandra Heine Duong says we're painting on Mama's old wine bottles. So, so we can do redecoration later. Well, that's pretty good. It's a good idea. I like that. You guys ought to send me pictures of that, please. Definitely want to check that out. Chelsea Stoner says a pigeon. Susie Cucky, Susan Cucky says a wolf. Christine Lil Brown says Fortnite. Connie Reynoso says Pokemon. So we did Pikachu <clears throat> a few months back. There's a video where we where I teach you guys how to draw and how to paint Pikachu. So you guys should go check that out. A horse is coming. A lemur is coming. Tyrannosaurus Rex is coming. Hi, Mimi from the Philippines. Seven years old. How are you? <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Let's continue. We're getting there. <laughs> We yeah, we saw stars to make in the background, but and then we we still got to make his little strap underneath the chin. But what I want to do right now is I'm going to take this gray that I have here, and I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of black to some of it. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I got some black to so this gray right here. I'm just going to scoop up a little bit of black. Don't need a lot, and it's just a small section over here. What I'm doing is I'm making the mix for the color that's going to go in here. Don't forget we got that border around the visor, so don't cover that border up. If you do it, you're gonna have to do it again, just like, like I did right now, I covered some of that border, so I'm gonna have to come back and redo that. That's okay, not that big of a deal. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to take this also and put it down inside here and on the bottom of this guy, little green guy's visor. Okay. Looking good. It's all about layering, folks. Little steps here and there, here and there. Okay. So there's the gray. Now I'm going to take the same brush. I'm going to clean it. Boom. Patty Hyatt says Godzilla will win. Okay. I'm a Godzilla fan. So, however, I do like King Kong also. So if you guys like King Kong, that's okay too. All right. Taking a little bit of white. I just want to know who you guys think is going to win in the movie. Right in here. Top part of the visor. Remember, don't forget, keep your border, don't go over the border. Here we go. Now we're going to come over here, do the same thing. Don't 
forget to switch to a smaller brush if you need to. Gotta be careful. Okay. Take a moment on that. We're gonna add some stars here in a moment. Just a little bit. We're gonna add some stars. I need to take a drink of water. My voice is drying out. Woke, woke up with a little bit of a dry throat today. My voice a little raspier than usual. All right, guys, I'm looking at the comments. Luigi and Lucas from Quebec, Canada. What's up, Luigi and Lucas? Roblox. Another Roblox um, request. I like it. A lot of Roblox requests. Warrior Cats. And a rooster together. I got a hen and a rooster idea. I don't know that I'll do them together, although although I do love that idea. I might make them separate, and then if you guys want, you guys can put them together, like canvases next to each other. I do like the idea of them together, so at some point in the future, I think I will do something like that. Sometime in this, this month, though, I've got another, another animal that I'm going to be painting. We're going to be doing another either, uh, I don't know yet, a pig, a rooster. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, here we go. But anyway, don't forget, we've got lots of fun stuff happening over here. What I want you guys to do is this. Easiest way to make stars, I think, you take the back of your brush, any brush, a small brush, okay, the back part, you dip it into your white paint, okay, and here we go. Watch what I do here. Stars, lots of stars, little stars, big stars. The, the, the easier you press against the canvas, the bigger this, or sorry, the lighter you press, or lightly you press against the canvas, the smaller the star. The harder you press, the bigger the star. So take your time and make your stars in your galaxy. But yeah, somebody requested Among Us in the lobby. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe next month. I know Among Us is super popular. And look at that. Look at all those stars. As many as you want, as big as you want, as little as you want. Okay. There we go. Looking pretty good. Got a couple of things left. These black lines in the ship. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and use my blow dryer really quick. Really quick. So taking my blow dryer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those black lines that go like this. You got these little lines that go vertically, straight up and down. So for that, I'm going to use not my little pointy brush, but my little flat brush. <clears throat> this guy right here. And what I do is nice and easy, a little trick to it. I take my paint, I move it over. I'm going to dip my brush in, in the water. So I'm back in my water cup. I bring some of that water over, <clears throat> mix the two together really nicely. Now what I do is I take my brush, I press it down so that the edges get nice and skinny. Okay, and now I'm just going to do this. Okay, and then we've got another one right here. Goes all the way from top to bottom.
And we've got another one over here. Cool. Look at that. Oh, the lightsaber, Kylo Ren. <laughs> I like that. All right, everyone. <clears throat> so let's take a little step back. We've got a few minutes left here. We're gonna take a little step back. <coughs> Excuse me. Take a little step back. Let's look at our Among Us characters. Let's look at what we got here. So what I what I could do is I could come in here and do another layer of blue over the hat. Okay, I can also do that to the visor. I could add some more white to the visors to make things stand out a little bit more. So we're going to go and do that really quickly. It won't take us long. I'm going to start with the I'm going to start with the white little brush. Okay, just cleaning cleaning up my brush a little. I'm going to take some white now like this. And, hey guys, really quick question for you guys. So currently I am on Facebook and on YouTube, right? Where I'm going to be, I just started on YouTube making these live videos. I've been doing them on Facebook for a while. What other platforms, what other social media should I be doing this on? What do you guys think? What do you guys recommend? Are you guys on, are on, are you guys on other social media platforms? Did I go to uh, TikTok? All right, just adding some more white to this part of the visor also, making this one stand out real nice. Look at that. The extra white makes it really, really nice. I can also come in here and add another layer of green over the green guy over here, the top part of the green. So just more of this really bright green is going to come in here. This one's kind of a neon green, so not kind of. It is a neon green. So that's why it's really bright. And I like it. So I'm thinking of starting a TikTok. What do you guys think? You know. What else? If there's anything else. Instagram. Instagram. Okay, I'm on Instagram. Um, I don't do any videos there yet, but I am on Instagram. Twitch. Uh, let's see. Snapchat. Got it with me. My pleasure. Hope you guys are having fun. <clears throat> okay. Last thing. Maybe last thing. I'm going to take a little bit of blue now. Just finishing up. Just doing some little touching touch-ups here and there. Nothing crazy. Nothing fancy. Just taking a little bit of blue. Bringing it over to one of my plates. Taking, taking a little bit of white. Mixing the two together. Okay, I'm going to paint right over the top of my hat, making it nice and smooth. Don't forget the front part of our cap. Do some of this blue on this part of the visor also. And again, second, third layers make everything stand out. Now, you don't always have to do second or third layers. Sometimes what you're looking for works perfectly fine with one layer okay so that is that now check this out guys i have some little chalk marks that i can still see behind some of my where i didn't cover them up completely so i can just take a paper towel and I just come in here grab a little bit of water with my towel so I dip that into the paint and i'm just going to lightly go over any chalk marks that eliminates all of those. 
Get all the chalk marks that I can see. Just be careful you don't do this to any wet paint or you'll, you'll smear it. But all the little chalk marks from my drawing originally, I'm just going through and cleaning up around those edges. And ta-da! The very last thing that you want to do is you want to sign your masterpiece. Again, folks, please send me pictures. I like to share those with my social media groups. I'll get all your pictures together, put them in a big batch, and share them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to sign mine in green. What the heck? Take my little skinny brush. You can use your nickname, your first name, your last name, whatever you want. And you can just find a little corner. I'm going to use my last name. And I just sign my piece. Okay? Just like that. Ta da. What do you guys think? Cool, huh? You guys made your own very own Among Us piece. Now we could go in there. If I wanted to, I could go in there and let all this completely dry, and then I can come back and refine some more stuff. Maybe add some more light blue in there, add some more gray in there, add some more red, or whatever I want. I could go back and really touch things up. But I like the way it turned out. We're going to stop right there. Okay, so just want to say thank you to all of you. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't yet, please don't forget to follow the Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Okay. Now, a little thing that I noticed between the original and the new one is that the border here is a little bit lighter than this one. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could simply mix a lighter shade of that dark blue that I made. Okay, so all that dark blue, I still have some. If I wanted to, I could just lighten it up a little bit by adding maybe some white to it. Just a touch. Just a touch. Now when I come in and do a border, now I'm not going to do all of it. I'm just going to demonstrate. It stands out a little bit more. You guys see that? So I could just go around and use this. And now it really stands out. Okay. So this is one way to make that border stand out a little bit more. Okay. It's kind of hard to say. I'm looking at the video. It's kind of hard to tell. But that border is brighter than the rest of this. That's how you would do that. All right. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you guys all for being here once again. I appreciate it. Hope you all had fun. Make sure you guys come back and join me for some more fun events. We're going to be doing a whole lot of really cool stuff throughout the year. So stick around for all of that. Okay? Please send me your pictures. I want to see your masterpieces. Let's just turn off my music. Had to turn that off. And we are done. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's look at your comments really quick. Krista Buerling, you're very really welcome. Thank you. Aaron Celebre, bye-bye. Norma Dowdle, goodbye. Thank you for being here. Liz White, my pleasure. Uh, Jojo Siwa. <laughs> Aaron Celebre is asking about doing a, a painting, a drawing of Jojo Siwa. All right, everyone. Thank you once again. Have a good one. I will see you guys all very soon. Bye now.